playing one chord to another in its entirety uh, is it's fun because it puts a lot of songs in context uh, that we don't play often. But the thing that I really like about playing it is that it really brings out an older part of our audience back to our shows. In high school, they love Twice Removed, they love one chord to another, Navy Blues, and then etc. They go to university, they're still fans, and they get a job and have kids, and it's like they haven't been to a Sloan show in like 10 years or something. The more records you make, the more songs you write, and because I play in a band with three other songwriters, I think we tend to almost influence each other. Freedom, I think, to be able to make those sounds that wasn't as easy to do for us in Halifax in 1996. Uh, how long have we been using Boss? I think since the beginning. Like, you know, we had these other tuners. We had these, like, chromatic tuners, which when these came out or when we discovered them, it was like a life raft being thrown on stage. I think I've always used uh, Blues Driver. Uh, since the beginning of the 90s, easily. Once I find something I like, I just sort of stick with it. So, as you see, there's two, uh, two boss pedals here, one with a big A on it, one with a big J on it. So J is me, J, and Andrew, who's our, who plays drums in Sloan. He comes up and plays guitar, and I go over to bass. Especially for the Telecaster, I like to have an equalizer just to boost the low end a little bit and just give it a more well-rounded sound. The first pedal I got was a, was a boss heavy metal pedal which I claim is the sound of Smeared. So I've had that pedal probably for, well, easily 30 years. So probably when it first came out is when I got it. I use this equalizer almost all the time, but I've been using it as an overdrive. It's sort of EQ'd in such a way that the volume is up a little bit and it just gives it like a little bit of a saturated overdrive that's a little different than a straight pedal overdrive. A lot of times I end up having to do two pedals at the same time so it might be like a delay and a, and a distortion for lead. And I'm singing at the same time, so I have to learn this choreography. And it just became crazy, and eventually these came on the market, and they were cheaper than a regular, like the old school switchers, which were quite expensive to use. And so this came along, and it was just like programmable and kind of above my head to a certain extent. And there's so many options with these banks. and. But we don't really, we're only using one bank, but I've got everything that I need to do with these three here. And then this would trigger the POG and delay, which is this new delay over here, the DD500, which I really like. It's just, it's like, like it's basically a little studio almost, and it's like the amount of work you can do with it, which I'm barely scratching the surface with. What's next? Next for Sloan would be, I don't actually know. We're going to do this for a while. If we do new music, I don't know if it'll be a full record. We might do another EP. We did an EP a few years ago called Hit and Run, which didn't come out as a physical release. So we might do a new EP and then release both, maybe with some other stuff. The world is changing a lot in terms of like how people release music and how they listen to music. And of course, people have been saying that for years, but after 11 records, I don't know another 12-song record, I'm not sure. We've said this before, and then we end up making a double record. So, you know.